Hey everyone and um, welcome back to my channel. The first thing that I'm going to be using as usual is my Urban Decay Primer. This one is in Eden, doesn't really matter which one you use, they're all really good anyway. And this one does have a bit of colour to it. And now I'm making some weird faces. The first colour I'm using from the Naked 3 palette is Limit. And that's just going to go into the crease and you really want to blend this in. I'm using a MAC 217 brush, but any blending brush will do. The next colour is the darkest one in Black Heart. You want to place this all over the lid and slightly into the crease, but you're going to blend it anyway, but it's quite a hard colour to blend, so don't apply it too much. You can always um, build it up, which is what I did. And the brush that I'm using is the Real Techniques Shading Brush. And now I'm just going to be blending it out with my Sigma E40. Really buff and blend it in because you don't want any harsh lines. The next colour is Burnout and I'm just putting that into the crease. Um, it's a very similar colour to Limit but it just has a bit of shimmer. If you don't want the shimmeriness, the glitteriness, then don't use this colour. I'm then going to go back underneath with the same brush and the same colour in Black Heart and just darken that under eye and then blend it with some weird faces again. And I'm just going to blend that out with a bit of Limit and Burnout. Then I'm using Dust and this will go in the inner corners and just to highlight that inner corner and it really does make the um, eyeshadows like pop out a bit more. Then I'm using Strange and this is just um, going to go on my brow bone as a highlight. As usual, I'm using my Maybelline Master Drama Pencil. It's just a really black pencil and it goes on so smoothly. And again, my favourite liquid liner is the Rimmel Exaggerate liner. Um, it's my favourite liquid anyway. But I'm just going to wing that out. I'm then going to put some lashes on, these are the Primark ones again, and then I'm going to use my mascara, which is Maybelline Falsies, my favourite mascara, on top and bottom lashes. I don't know why I'm showing you my mascara fingers, but yep. <laughs> Um, I then used a primer by Smashbox and the foundation I'm using is Revlon Colorstay in Natural Beige. I'm just going to buff that into the skin with a Real Techniques buffing brush. It's just my usual foundation routine really. The concealer I'm using my Studio Finish Concealer by MAC in NW20 is quite a light concealer, it gives me a highlight um, and I'm going to be using that with the Zoeva concealer brush. This concealer does make my under eye crease but the powder I'm going to use um, stops that and also dulls down the highlight because I don't want too much of a highlight. And the loose powder I'm using is the Ben Nye's Luxury Powder in Buff. This is a really, really good um, loose powder. I will be doing a review on it on my blog and um, video. 
just putting that where I've done my concealer and any greasy areas like forehead, nose and chin. For my contour I'm going to be using the Yabby in Hot Fudge with a Real Techniques foundation brush I believe. Um, I'm just using the edge of that foundation brush um, and I'm just going to contour my cheeks, forehead, chin, jawline and nose. It may look a bit crazy at the moment but I will be buffing it out. If you want me to do a contour and highlight video then just like this video and leave a comment in the comment section. To buff it out I will be using the Real Techniques stippling brush, there's a lot of Real Techniques brushes in this video, um, and you just want to buff it out really so you don't see any lines, um, but you don't want to buff it out too much that you um, can't see it anymore. That's why I like to use like a creamy instead of a powder, because um, it just sort of sticks to your skin a lot better than powder does. But um, when I do use a powder contour, it will be for more of an everyday look. This is quite an evening look, so I'm going to go in for a slightly more dramatic contour. The blush I'm using is by MAC and it's Desert Rose with again a Real Techniques blush brush. I don't want to apply it too much, um, just a little bit. I didn't want it to be too intense. For lip liner I'm using MAC Oak. You want to just line your lips obviously and then go onto the lips a little bit. For this look I did want a nude lip but of course you can add colour if you want to. This would look really nice with burgundy lips. The lipstick I'll be using is by Revlon and it's in Nude Attitude I believe and yeah it's quite a matte finish so you can always add lip gloss on top if you want. This is the completed look so I hope you enjoyed it, if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos and I'll see you in my next one.